All right, after you put your name on the back, we wanna make sure we have our messy mat down and we're gonna start with our black and white drawing first. We're gonna be using our ink bottles today. You guys know that when you use those, you don't need to squeeze or smash to get the ink to come out. We don't want it to spill. We're gonna start at the top corner and we're gonna be drawing some wavy lines. Our guest teacher can pause and let you catch up working along with me, or we can play the whole video first and then let you guys work afterwards. The next step in the top section above the wavy line is to make other lines that match. They can go all the way off the page. On the bottom, we're gonna make some different sections of those drippy shapes. So I could start here where there's kind of a valley and I could make a drip. And then I'm gonna go back inside this shape to make some lines that match. If you get a little bit of a puddle, you maybe you squeezed a little bit too hard, just let it dry. And we're gonna add some more of those drip shapes. You can go wherever you want on yours to make your shapes. And they can be different amount of spacing. So here my lines are closer together and here they're farther apart. At the bottom, we're gonna leave this part blank because we're gonna cut this shape out. All right, now it's time to go back in and make kind of those black and white patterns or stripes. So the easiest way to start is to go ahead and just start filling in stripes. Just take your time. On your second sheet of paper that you've put your name on, we're gonna be starting with a Sharpie this time instead of our ink. And we're gonna do the same process. So from top corner to top corner, we're gonna make a drippy line, a wavy line. And then we're gonna make lines that match. Next, we're going to add our other drips on. So I'm just gonna go, I don't think I like that one. So think about your color scheme and you know that um, Jen Stark uses those bright contrasting colors or those kind of rainbow style colors. You guys be the color designers of that. When you're mixing up your paint, just mix a little bit at a time. You can always go back and mix more, but we can't put it back in the tube once you've squirted it out. So kind of make those um, paint squirts dime sized. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little white with my yellow to brighten it up. And as I mix my color, I want it to stay as a little puddle shape. If I paint all over the whole plate, I'm not gonna have space to mix those other colors. I'll start with yellow here, and I'm gonna make that my first stripe. I like to do this as one long brush stroke.
And if you have any of the paint left, think about where you might want to use that color again. So I might want to use that color down here in this part of my picture. So before you wash your brush, think about if you're going to use it again. You'll have a variety of brush sizes, so I will let you decide which size is best for yours. And then you can start on your next color. Now I'm gonna be using some green and yellow next and I've got yellow on my brush. So I really don't need to wash my brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit of green over here. And I want it to go neon, so I'm gonna add plenty of yellow. I don't need to wash my brush because I already have yellow. So sometimes you can just save yourself time by not washing your brush if you're gonna use a similar color. I'm gonna let you guys be the color designers, so figure out what mixtures make what colors and have fun with that together. And I want this color to go right next to the yellow. I'm gonna do my best not to overlap it, so I'm gonna to try to stay right next to it without overlapping. All right, let's speed this up so you guys can get going. If you need to change colors, use the sponge at your table just to wipe your paintbrush. It's not a perfect system. When the sponge gets covered, flip it over or raise your hand if you do need to rinse that sponge out and start fresh. This way we don't have to have buckets of water on the table today. All right, once your painting is done, you're going to set that aside to dry for a couple minutes while you use your scissors to cut out the black and white.